Okay, so good day, guys. I've uh, been here. Um, today we're going to so this um, try to model this structure hollow circular hollow steel column family. Okay, still try to add steel connection. Okay, so I think this there will be some issue um, because I'm I'm not very 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 familiar with uh, structure elements so. Um, I did had a try, so this is the best best uh, outcome I can get. So I just um, so it's a structural family, structure um, framing family. So what we can do is we can go into the family um, and change the uh, change the change the the elements, change the so instead of having um, extrusion. So uh, let me show you how I. Uh, get this one. So what I did is uh, okay. So first, I'm going to just create a new project. Okay. So and okay. So now go to structure beam and go load a family. So now I'm going to the Austria oh no, uh, Revit um, content library. So you can download from if you Google uh, uh, Revit. Revit content library, and then there will be um, all different uh, content for different different countries. So I have this uh, so Australian one. So um, go to structural framing, and then go to steel, and go to Australian standard. So these are the all standard um, uh, stru uh, sorry structure framing families we use in Australia. So for example, CHS, so these are different type. I'm not sure what the, the difference is probably for different um, environments, maybe maybe um, like uh, more um, for for more um, coastal area. I'm not sure. So anyway, so let's just load. So load this profile so open. Okay, so now these are size. So I'm going to just pick, uh, maybe just pick one. Okay, so pick one. So and then we can just place. So let's go to 3D view. So this is it. Okay. So um, and it, you can, I found it easier. So if you have columns already placed in your project, so because once you have, you know, I'll just copy some, maybe even change the height of them once once you have columns you can easily create similar and then use three snapping so you do do a snap endpoint s a so i can just create something like this right so okay so now these are uh, extrusions so if you go edit family you will see so if you select this uh this um uh uh, model this uh, form this uh, <laughs> uh, solid form uh, you will see here extrusion right so yeah it means so it can uh, so it can be you know only this profile so uh, we can't have a different profile um, so what we need to do is instead of you know having this so um, I'm, I'm going to just um, let me think Maybe I'll just uncheck this one, so it's still there, but it won't. If, if I load this one into uh, into into the that project, it won't uh, be visible. Now let's go to uh, like a plan view, so you will see all these reference plans. We can use them to help us to create a um, instead of a extrusion, we can use different different form. Okay, different forms. So in this uh, scenario, I think we can maybe we can just use. Um, uh, let me let me have a look again. Yeah, can't really say, but uh, um, I'm going to maybe just use revolve. Okay, revolve. So, but before that, let's just place some more reference plans. So this is a floor plan. So you can see this this. The distance from uh, between this and this, maybe I'll just go to an elevation. So there might be some dimension somewhere, not here. 
uh, here. So in uh, this left elevation, so you can see this is a diameter. Okay, so um, we can also do it here. Maybe it's easier because um, we have we can have all the uh, parameters in one view, so it's easier for us to uh, to modify. Right. So so let's place a couple of reference plans. So RP. And then the di dimension. So let's do the same. So you can see we need uh, to this dimension equal, and another one will be the parameter to control the uh, the the distance between these two uh, reference plans. So select this dimension, create a new. So I just call it uh, maybe d two. Okay, so I'll just start with two, and type and OK. So. So now um, this is. Uh, let me just have a look. Extrusion. There's. Ah, oh, see that there are extra uh, parameters to control the thickness of that those this uh, form. So for us, um, let me think. How should we? Maybe we can just add another to reference plan and add dimension here. Dimension here. And try to find that thickness parameter. So let, where is it? Uh, here. So let's just use this one. Um, not sure which one. Maybe uh, maybe this one. Okay. So now let's have a look. So this is left, right? So if we go to go to, so you can see these two reference plan four. Actually, one, two, three, four. We need to go to a view that um, perpendicular to uh, with. You know, to those reference plans, so I think it should be front. Yes, yeah, so you can see here. So we can create a revolve from here. Okay, so the shape will be if I do a screenshot. So a revolve, we need a, an x axis line, so which is on this reference plan, and then the profile will be something like this. Okay, something like this. So I just cut here and then of course there's a thickness so we just need to make sure so this is a con so it will it won't be one continuous line so there will be a so um i think pr oh sorry not not from here wrong uh from here so it will go up so this will be an arc and then this will be straight line just need to make sure this is uh, at this point it's tangent so and then of course uh another one for thickness and then close it and then this will create and then of course uh, this side mirror okay mirror so now start from here and then we need a, another reference plan here so to decide where that point is so from arc to straight line so we can add a dimension to it so let's call it um, Maybe just call it OFS offset, maybe, and um, maybe make it instance. Uh, maybe type, okay, and okay. So yeah, we will need another one on the other side. So and then give it the same parameter, okay, and then we need another reference plan here, another reference plan here dimension so this will be the thickness as well so actually I'm not I'm going to go to the um, left because we have most of the parameters here so now we have this reference plan right so I just add another uh, dimension another couple dimension and apply the same so wall design uh, thickness okay so now go back to the front view so now we can create that revolve so um, create revolve oh hell so we need to pick a, um, a plan pick a plan that um, is perpendicular with this this view so we need to uh, let me think front if it's front we can either go to left or go to front plan. so let's go to left okay so revolve pick a plan so we're going to pick this this plan uh, let me think <laughs> uh, we need to draw that uh, okay so sorry this one so if we pick this one we will ask us to ch choose uh, either front or back 
back right so and then we go to front now we can start with uh, start with the axis line just place it uh, on this reference line and that I think that's that's all good in the boundary line so we will start from this so uh, maybe I'll use pick line and with a lock and pick this reference plan, uh, reference plan and then we need to pick this reference plan and this reference plan so I'm going to just do half okay so uh, I'll just stop here and once this half is um, works works okay and we can just uh, mirror and then constraint so we have this we have this okay so now we just need to I'll use SL so so this is a little trick sometimes when you have a very long line instead of you know trying to find that and drag it back usually I just split and delete that part so it's easier <laughs> okay so uh, yeah so this one's not that long so let's just drag this to here so he, here oh, let me just TL so you can see this uh, yeah much clearer um, okay so ch maybe change the scale so uh, yeah not too thick right not the lines not too uh, thick so trim TR and then we just need to draw so from here draw an arc that tangent with this line so create a lot oh sorry not model line here so sketch line so go use star and radius arc okay start from this point and at this point and then so you can see here so this is so place it and then you can directly click on this one okay so tog toggle join tangency okay so this means uh, these two lines will always uh, be tangent tangent okay so and then just uh, let's trim trim this and then create another start and arc uh, sorry what's that start and radius arc and then do the same thing and lock okay and then trim so now this is it so to double check the constraint you can type vv and check this automatic sketch dimensions click ok so you, you can see these uh, these are the uh, um, the temporary the blue color uh, dimensions so the best um, sometimes it, it will work it will work even you you don't constrain them but uh, I like to uh, make sure they are all constrained properly so see these two so we just use a line and a lock and do the other one okay for this one this one's fine because it's an axis line as long as it's on this uh, plane that would be fine and um, it won't move <laughs> okay most usually it won't move so if you're not sure you can always uh, align and lock it and then of course the length of this line doesn't matter so that don't really matter this so finish and then let's just change to uh, maybe shade SD I uh, can't really see uh, change back to WF wireframe so maybe have a look in 3d view so this is it so this one so uh, you can see it's gray 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 means uh, it's uh, invisible but because in family everything is everything is visible right unless you go here and turn on the preview visibility okay I'll click on this so this will hide all the um, invisible elements okay so this is one end okay and then let's go back to left oh no no, no. front and we can just do the other uh, half so edit revolve so we can delete this one okay select everything here mm mirror pick this reference plan so that, again we're trying to uh, get rid of all these uh, temporary dimensions so use al al um, so this one try to lock to, yeah all good this one and this one oops trying to so you can see so this is not a reference plan so this solid blue color line is the edge of the previous uh, uh, form so try to try to um, try not to pick the edge of that form okay so always always use reference plans to uh, 
to constrain your element, not uh, using one element to you know to lock onto the other one. So because that will cause issues. Okay, so now we have this one. All good. We can finish it. So let's have a look in 3D view. So change to shade SD. And this is it. So of course uh, the length of this family is not quite right. <laughs> so that's fine. We can adjust that later. So for for now, we just let's just have a test of the offset. So maybe I'll change this one to five hundred. So you can see it will change where this um, where this you know the the flat part. So currently it's roughly here and here. Um, and also let's try to adjust the D2, which is here. So maybe I'll change to 200. Yep, right. So if I change this 400, so you can see it will move uh, closer to this end. 300. Okay, so I think that's it. So now let's have a test. Uh, I'll load this one into the project. Okay, <laughs> okay, overwrite. Um, just um, yeah, just be careful because some uh, um, sometimes you don't you don't want to over if if you uh, you you already are using a like a circular uh, steel framing family in your project uh, probably it's better it's better to rename it first and then then load into your project you don't want to override your you know your pro uh, your project the family in your project okay so this is it so now let's have a test if we change the you know this try to move this away from this end maybe here so that's probably a couple meters away or three uh, let's try three meters uh, what happens okay so it looks like we have some issue here <laughs> it's bre it's breaking the family so that's okay we can try to figure out so this one at least this one's fine the size the radius the size of this end is working but not the offset so um actually what i i had the same issue uh previously so uh how to fix it um actually what i did is i tried to so this is the length in this family in this family so this is a family right so this is um, so what I did is I tried to increase the length of the families to you know quite 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 long maybe just move everything here to three meters yeah and then move everything here by three meters as well so make this family very long okay it looks like we have some issue again uh, that's fine uh, um, hang on, let me control it. Let me let me let me try again. So I'll just move, maybe move, only move these reference uh, reference plans. That's okay. Let me change your scale so we can see those numbers. And then one, two, three. If I only move these three, and let's see what happens. Okay, so it looks like it's fine. So yeah, all good. So now let's load this one into. The project usually uh, if it's a normal family so you change change the length in the family won't affect the uh, if it's a parametric family it won't affect the family in the in the project but because this is special this is a structural framing family so it might uh, act um, you know act differently so let's just go try again edit type uh, offset make it three meter ah oh, still don't work uh, interesting okay yeah <laughs> oh at least one meter it works so 1200 works 1500 works oh hang on two meter ah 1800 how about that don't work seven ten works 18 doesn't work okay so 17 works 18 doesn't work <laughs> I have no idea okay so let's have a test uh, in this family again so uh, 1700 
Oh, sorry, wrong one. Uh, what did I do? Control Z. Uh, uh, offset 1700. Oh, it works, right? So 2 meter. Doesn't work. 1800. Doesn't work. Okay, looks like uh, we have the same issue. Um, how? What? Why? Probably, uh, I don't know, offset 1700, 1700, 1800. Oh, looks like, yeah, I don't know. Looks like this is fourth of the overall lens, but I don't think this is. Anyway, so if I move this, you know, one, two, three reference plan, another meter, maybe. Another meter. Okay, so now let's see what happens. Can I do eighteen hundred? No, I still can't. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I don't know to be honest. Um, because I think it's probably because this is a structure framing family. It's just not normal family. It's just um, I don't, yeah, um. At least eighteen hundred. Done. Um, eighteen hundred doesn't work. Seventeen hundred works. Uh, I think I'll I'll probably just give up. <laughs> yeah. So uh, okay. So this is it. Um, yeah. If you can figure out why this is happening, uh, please let me know. Um, apparently, yeah. This all works. I'll make it very 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 uh very skinny at the end 100 how about that yeah so and then this is 1500 works 1700 works but it won't work when it's 1800 oh also works oh okay so it looks like um uh, yeah, 2400. So it looks like um, um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. Anyway, I think that that's it. So this is the this is it. So just one uh, instead of extrusion, it's one revolve. But the issue, okay, so. The issue with this connection is um, um, we can't we can't use connection for. Uh, I'll show you uh, what happens if if I add connection between this and this. Okay, so first let's go to uh, structure under here connection. So first we need to uh, load uh, some connection families because currently there's nothing, right? So go here. So see all these are. Connection families. Let's select all. Add. Okay. Finish. Right. So now select this uh, framing and this column, and go to structure and go here. Click on this connection. So this will add a connection. So this is a, a connection symbol. Okay. So so it's not a, a, a physical element, but it's a connection. Okay. And then what we can do is we can select it, change this one too. So these are uh, some options depending on the, I believe it's depending on the, the 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 profile of this frame and profile of this uh, uh, column. And then these are options between them. So for example, this one currently, um, I think it's a, like a, a circular or uh, framing right so so we'll see all these most of these uh connection there's a um yeah where so uh yeah like these like tube uh tube right <laughs> tube brace angle whatever <laughs> the name so it's yeah so it's uh depending on the the profile of this so let's just try to i'll just add one i don't know uh anything about structure connection but 
the the issue I found here is once I try to apply that apply that connection to this to these two uh, structure element, it will change this change this back to um, so you can see it looks different. There, there's no skinny you know end anymore, right? So and also if you want to see that connection, you change this one to fine. So ah, oh, it's there, but it's 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 hidden. <laughs> it's it's covered by this uh, framing. So maybe I'll change. Maybe we we'll change some you know bigger one. Yeah. So this one's bigger. So you can see this plate. Uh, it's being placed onto this end of this framing. It's it's no, uh, it's no longer this look. So it will change back to a circular uh, extrusion so i had a look so if if we edit use edit family there's an option here so i think this one controls um how it looks um or which uh, connection we're going to use when we create a connection between those elements so for example this one's uh currently round sh uh hss and there's all these uh, options here so these are the shape um yeah i think it's um this is probably how revit uh work so uh this is the original one so let's just maybe i'll, I'll delete this one so only so just make sure that the one in the project is not the is not the the previous element instead it's some you know um default shape shape may be controlled by this one but i'm not sure okay let's load this one uh back into the project and you'll see it's still like this it looks like this so uh, maybe try uh let's add another one select these two structure connection and then go here pick one so i'll just pick uh maybe pick uh, pick a random one maybe uh this one okay you can see it will change the shape of this frame so i think um yeah i don't think we can do much about this uh, this is probably how revit structure uh works uh, and also I found that if I even if I delete this so it won't change this back um, yeah so maybe let me just try to ah see that not work it's broken uh, I'll CC copy it ah still still broken so yeah I don't know <laughs> and then but if we you know create similar CS and then let's just create another one and it will go back to this the actual um, form in this family but yeah so uh, I think the only option we have is uh, if you really want to create something uh, similar to that we can probably just draw the steel plate <laughs> um, yeah uh, so let's try so um, plate okay so I think uh, yeah and also we need to um, um, pick a word plan I think so if if we don't have a word plan maybe uh, we can just pick a face pick the face of this maybe I'll change this one to median so yeah and pick a face of uh, this uh, co column and then we can you know draw something like this right so I'll go up uh, something like this <laughs> it's not not perfect but uh, oh where is it ah maybe we need to change it back to a fine yeah so it looks like these plates are only visible in fine uh, detail level so um, this is it um, I know it's uh, not perfect but yeah if, if you if you find a, a best a better way uh, of doing this if, if you find a way to you know have uh, to have connections between these two elements without changing the shape or you know profile of this uh, stru uh, structure framing please please let me know okay so thank you i will see you next time thank you bye